Thank you, Paul, for that beautiful speech and beautiful prayer. Just a reminder of why we're all here. We're here through an organization called 350.org. Because 350 parts per million of carbon in the atmosphere is the only safe level we should be targeting. We're at 387 parts per million right now, which does not look like a bright and safe future for humanity. At 450 parts per million, shells in the ocean start to disintegrate. The very shells that are part of phytoplankton and part of zooplankton, the very animals that give us the air that we breathe. At 550 parts per million, which we're on target to hit in the next 20 years, there will be no coral reefs left in the ocean. The most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet are in jeopardy. Two-thirds of the planet is covered in ocean, and this ocean fills with the carbon that we pollute with. This is absolutely unacceptable, and we've developed a standard, 350 set a standard of 350 parts per million. That's what we should be targeting, and that is the only acceptable level. And that level is optimistic and hopeful that it will achieve a maximum of two degrees rise in temperature by the end of the century. Now, under the current climate protocols of Canada, they're looking for a six degree rise in temperature, which means the displacement of possibly a billion people. What Canada is doing right now is looking for short-term profits in response to the tar sands, a highly profitable but very, very dirty form of fuel. And if they keep looking for these profits instead of the long-term profits, humanity in Canada will suffer. We're going to impoverish future generations. We're going to poison First Nations. We're going to displace hundreds of millions and possibly billions of people if we continue on this pathway. Citizens of Canada want environmental protection, and they want their leaders to listen to them. All of you here gathered today is absolutely an incredible show of strength and an incredible show that we want climate policy and better climate policy now. Any revolution that's had in the past has been led by the people. Think of Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, people gathered in the streets. They formed peaceful protests like this, and they made change happen. And now more than ever, this is the most important issue humanity's faced. Conservation isn't hugging trees and saving pandas anymore. Conservation is the preservation of human life on Earth. And ensuring that the same rights that we have, the same freedoms to live in a beautiful world, to have food, to have water, clean drinking water, and a safe existence free of pollution, we need to ensure that those rights are there for future generations of Canadians. And that's why we're all here, to take a stand on this. Because what's going on right now is unacceptable. And the people don't want it. And we need to let our government know that if they don't do what we want, we will elect new government officials. Yeah. Yeah. Are you listening, Harper? Yeah. Start listening! Now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Just Voices. Just Voices is an energetic community choir based here in Ottawa that sings with a social message social message about the environment and social injustices, war, and they're here now to sing beautifully for all of you. So please welcome Just Voices.